Welcome to another episode of Titan PI TV, where we're looking at the inside workings of an operational investigation agency. Today we're here at Titan at our Derby office. I'm Simon Henson, Managing Director of Titan Private Investigation, and we have nine offices from London to Manchester. Today's episode we're going to be focusing on lie detection or truth of validation. So traditionally we have looked at or used polygraph testing which is fairly intrusive because it uh, measures seven sensory areas of a human body. So it can be intrusive, you're wired up to a machine. These tests also take a minimum of two hours for them to be validated properly. So do take a long time. Converse developed iDetect in 2014 and since that date it has been developed further and is a, a brilliant bit of software for truth validation. So how does iDetect work? iDetect purely is a piece of software with two cameras which monitors uh, the dilation of the pupils. It is very, very accurate, as accurate as polygraph, and takes 25 minutes. So let's look at iDetect in a bit more detail. So a willing subject will sit similar to our, how I am. The screen or monitor is in front of them, and the cameras uh, are here that measure the pupil dilation. We, the, the subject needs to be 60 centimeters away from the screen and these are constantly monitoring as statements are read. So as per the polygraph there are three questions which can be asked and from those questions the software will create a number of statements which the subject will answer true or false on this mouse to. So let's look at a test. So the three questions will be agreed with the client or the subject for their points to prove. The software will then make these statements. The test will then be created and can be done same day and will appear here on the screen. So let's click on the test which we've made. We put the initials of the subject and we're good to go. So first of all we need to take a picture of our subject so that it's evidential and we can prove that that is the person that has sat the test. We put details in as gender, age 26, education 12 plus, then we look at reading level so if you have a low reading level that can be put in and vision whether a subject is wearing glasses or not. We then set the test and we're good to go. So that now the software needs to calibrate so that we as a subject are in the correct position. So first of all, it's activating the cameras here and it's going to ask me to position my chair so that I am 60 centimeters away and my eyes are in the green box. Once that's done, we can move on and we calibrate the movement of the eye. So in this, we are just following where the red dot is on the screen, and the cameras are monitoring our eye movement to make sure that everything is being measured correctly to give a positive result. And that's the tracking. And we accept that. We then go on to the test. So this test is one that I do every morning. I would say that this software is 100% accurate because I cannot beat it. However, the official results are between 80 and 90. So in this test, I have to pick a number between one and 10. So two up to nine. So in this example, I'm gonna pick number five. This software is gonna ask me a number of questions around which number I've picked. I have to answer truthfully to the numbers that I haven't picked, but when it asks about number five, I have to lie. And I lie by saying a statement is true or false on the mouse. So let's have a look at the test. Okay, so the test is asking me to read each question in its entirety. And whilst I'm reading the question, these two cameras are monitoring the size of my pupils. So like I said earlier, I press green which is the left mouse button for true 
and if the statement is false, it's the right button which is red. I did not write down the number one. That's true. I have 15 seconds to answer each one of these. Two is the number that I picked. That's false. I did pick three as the number. False. The number four was my choice. False. Five is the number I picked. It is, so I'm going to lie. False. I did not choose number six. True. Today I picked seven as the number. False. Eight is the number that I chose. False. I did not choose the number nine. That's true. The number ten I picked. False. Number one I chose. False. Two is not the number that I chose. True. I wrote down number three. False. Four is not the number that I picked. True. I did not write down the number five, so I need to lie. True. Six is the number that I picked. False. I did not choose number seven. True. Eight was the number that I picked. False. I definitively picked number nine. False. My choice today was not number 10. That's true. So the test is now asking me to relax. It's going to give me 15 seconds and then it's going to ask me some simple questions to see if I am telling the truth, which I have to be truthful on now, whether statements are true or false. And they're general knowledge questions. So it's counting me down one second left. It's then going to measure whether I'm 60 centimetres away from the camera again, like it did earlier. And there we're good to go. The next session will ask a few general knowledge questions. So Paris is the largest city and capital of New Zealand. That's quite clearly false. The pyramids of Egypt are not located in North America. True. Hurricanes typically develop over the Arabian and Sahara deserts. False. The state of Hawaii is a group of islands in the Pacific Ocean. True. And once again, it's given me 15 seconds to relax. It's now going to ask me again a number of questions or a number of statements in regard to the number that I, I picked. So the test has now concluded. Uh, the first question it asks is, is there any confession of guilt? In this case, there is not. And this will give us the results pretty instantly. So certainly to a subject, if they were to travel to us, ideally at our Derby office, then they would certainly get the results on the same day. So we just have to sync it. And this process literally takes five minutes to get the results. And I'm hoping, as it's on camera, that it says that I was lying about number five, but we shall see. So now we need to log into the Converus uh, dashboard. So we log into it. And it's asking for an authentication code, which is specific to this phone and this laptop. I'm going to wait for the next one, because every 30 seconds it updates and it's gone red. So there you go, it's updated. So this confirms that it is me. Okay, then we need to go to Tools. And we need to have a look at the results. So it's the 14th today, um, so we click on the 14th, so there you have it, there are the results, black and white, number 5. So as I alluded to, I do this every morning, and it always finds out the number that I am lying about, so I have 100% confidence in this software. So it's applications, it can be used in a corporate environment, so it might be that there's been um, a corporate theft, or graffiti, and if you have a number of suspects or a suspect who you believe may be responsible, then we can create three questions um, around the offence, and then the software will create a number of statements to find out who is the perpetrator. The beauty of this uh, is the fact that we can do multiple subjects or suspects in a day because it only takes 25 to 30 minutes, opposed to the traditional polygraph testing, which takes two hours per test. We also have a huge demand for matrimonial investigations where there's suspicion that a partner may have had sexual contact or sexual intercourse with another person whilst they've been married to our client. This is once again another application for this software and we have 100% confidence that we get the right results.
So if you're interested in lie detection services, please visit www.titaninvestigations.co.uk, click on the service tab, and then lie detection services. That will give you all the information you require, or you can alternatively email us at inquiries at titaninvestigations.co.uk. Thanks for listening. Thank you.